From anatomy to anesthesiology, from pathology to pharmacology, from microbiology to medicine, a one-man resource to the world of health sciences. Welcome to Dr. Paul's Medical Lectures. A practicing physician, Dr. Paul offers you essential insights on diseases afflicting millions of people around the world. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. Good morning, folks. This is Dr. Paul. This afternoon, I want to talk about finger fractures. See, people get all kinds of injuries. Teenagers go and play sports and uh, they fall and they get uh, some twisting injuries and uh, have a fracture. Adults, while walking, they may slip and they fall on an outstretched arm and uh, get injuries to the hand and uh, resulting in a fracture. So there are all kinds of uh, mechanisms and uh, resulting in a fracture. What should we do? First of all, we should do a physical examination, a careful physical examination. What are the bruises, what are the skin injuries, tendon injuries? How are the sensitivities in the area? Is there any swelling, tenderness? And how is the blood supply? Checking the arterial blood supply. Checking the nerve supply. So that physical examination is uh, very, very important. Then you describe the physical examination in the chart and then you do an x-ray. I mean x-ray is very very useful in differentiating uh, the problem. And I will show you an x-ray I took this morning on a patient. See the metatarsals very clearly and uh, you can see that fracture clearly in the fifth finger you can see a classic fracture. You can uh, see it an oblique fracture here and it's going through almost the entire shaft of the proximal phalanx of the fifth finger. So you can see a very, very characteristic fracture there. So it's an oblique fracture extending through the shaft of the proximal phalanx of the fifth finger. And you can uh, see the lateral view here. And in the lateral view also there is a small, a very, very small uh, fracture in the, in the lateral view. So, in this view, yeah, in this view it is much, much evident. You can see, I will take you for a close view here. Yeah, you can see it here, and it is going through from the external surface through the shaft to the. Uh, oh, okay. So it is going through the shaft here. So that's a very, very characteristic uh, fracture, folks. And you can uh, see the metatars metacarpals below, they are fine. You can go through the carpals below, they are fine. You can see the distal ends of radius and ulna, they are fine. So you see all other bones also for any other fractures. You just don't uh, confine yourself to the fracture. fracture. The treatment is basically you body tape it. If it is like you see first whether it is a non displaced fracture or displaced fracture. If it is a non-displaced fracture, you body tape it for three or four days. Then when the patient comes back, you will just cast it. If it is a, a displaced fracture, you will try to reduce it and then splint it or cast it. If you can't reduce it, you will send the patient to an orthopedic surgeon. So you, sp you, you splint it or you cast it. There are two basic types of castings the ulnar gutter splint and radial gutter splint. In the ulnar gutter splint, basically it goes in this hand and you keep uh, the wrist in the slight extension and you keep the metacarpophalangeal joints like 70 to 90 degrees and the fingers in slight flexion. So this is the way you do the splint, uh, the, the casting. It's called a gutter splint. If it is on this side, you call it a uh, 
a ulnar gutter splint and if it is on this side you call it a radial gutter splint. So gutter splinting is the standard treatment. So first you do the x-ray and you will see if it is a, a non-displaced fracture you splint it for temporarily for three four days and when the sw full swelling happens you examine the patient again and do the gutter uh, casting and then okay, well why don't you just do that if it is like a, a displaced fracture you try to reduce it and then do the splinting or casting again a gutter, gutter splint or gutter cast if you can't reduce it, you refer the patient to an orthopedic surgeon. Mm -hmm. So basically that is the treatment of uh, finger fractures. Very, 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 very common thing we see in the primary care practice. Hope that helps. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. For more medical videos, please visit us at www.drpaul.org and take time to browse through hundreds of health videos we regularly post on our site. If you are preparing for USMLE, PLAB, and other medical exams, make sure you visit our website to browse through our videos explaining the essential points you need to know before taking these examinations. For more information, visit us at www.drpaul.org. Thank you, and may God richly bless you.